Everybody in the club is a volunteer, even the adults, all the coaches are volunteers. There's nobody that's paid to, to do anything. So the whole ethos of the club is about volunteering. This kind of idea of this sort of like circle of volunteering that, you know, kids come in when they're small um, and as they're learning to swim, there are young volunteers in the water with them. And those young volunteers give them the confidence, just make it a bit more fun. The volunteering has been important for me because it's given me a great shot to see how drama works for kids and Stephanie is just amazing at what she does and I'm really happy that I've been able to be a part of that and I've really enjoyed working with Isabel here and all of the kids and I've just learned a lot. I like Amber when she volunteers because it's not like she tells us what to do but she helps us with what we have to do. Um, I decided to start volunteering because I was very interested in getting more involved in my community but also um, I wanted to build my confidence a bit more because I felt um, I wasn't very good at speaking in interviews but since I've done quite a few of them through um, B then I feel more confident just speaking about things. It's really helped me develop probably my organisation skills and also I've had a better sense of money and how to budget for the youth centre and new grants and projects we've gotten and sending the forms away. Coming out the other side of it, I think that there's so many um, interchangeable skills and qualities that you learn from volunteering. Even if you just go along to a volunteering thing for one hour a week or a month, that shows dedication in whatever you're doing, which is passable onto a job. You can get increases in confidence um, to actual like, physical skills. So for example, my volunteering, um, I've learned so many different harm reduction techniques to try and um, make sure everyone around me is kind of safe when they're doing or whatever they're doing, either in a party scene or whatever. We've gained confidence from going around to schools and presenting workshops to like all the different people. And as we go on, then you can see that we get like more confident and we find it easier to do. And um, we've also like learned coping strategies to deal like with ourselves when we're feeling, when we're struggling. Um, and some leadership from it and learning to like work together and stuff in teams. Is that all? <laughs> I learned how to figure out what I was. Um, from uh, the Who Am I, uh, the Who Am I cards, yeah. I decided to volunteer because I like to help other people. When I volunteer, I feel proud of myself. I think the youngest pupils listen to us older pupils and it's good that they listen. I think when you're volunteering, you're not really thinking about what you're gaining. Um, you're doing it because it's fun, because there's a great atmosphere in the club. You don't think about all these skills that you're developing along the way. What the Saltire Awards do is that they, they provide a kind of point of reflection. When they apply to the Saltire Awards, they get asked to think about, well, what have you done and what did you get out of it and how many hours have you put into it? I think it's good that I get this award for my volunteering because it means that when I'm older and I'm looking for jobs, it's a great thing that I can put on my CV and I do want to go into drama or something to do with the performing arts when I'm older, so I definitely think it's really going to help me in the future. I think I did the 200 hours, I got the 200 hour award and the summit award, but there's um, these phenomenal people um, like the two volunteers I was with that have both achieved their 500 hours and are continuing to do more hours, um, which is just mind-blowing to me. All their hard work that they've gone into it and they've done it selflessly is it's inspiring to me. It feels like a big achievement that someone's actually recognised what we're doing and saying that we're like what we've done is like worthy enough to have a summit award. Yeah, we never thought we would get this big. Yeah, my definitely team. not this big. I no, <laughs> never thought that like we would even do stuff like this now. Mm -hmm. Like with hoodies. Yeah, we're <laughs> really, like, come on, relax. <laughs> I would tell someone else to volunteer because it just, I think it's really helped my confidence. And I think if you're looking to try something new, meet new friends, or just to help build your confidence and speak in front of people, I would really recommend it. It also lets you see what you like doing. For example, when I was working in the youth centre, that really showed me that I loved working with young children, and so that decided that I wanted to become a youth worker. So it just really gives you opportunity to try things without actually having to properly commit yourself. So you might just do, say, like 10 hours somewhere, and just to see if you like it.
volunteer makes me feel great and proud. I had fun with the other people. This will help my future.